2011 is a year of postponement, a year of preparation. Uh, major countries are looking forward to elections and government changes in 2012, and that's already starting to affect the way in which they act in this year. At Stratfor, we normally don't pay too much attention to elections. We don't see uh, government change as fundamentally changing the issues that drive nations, that shape and constrain nations. However, in the shorter term, the politics do have a strong impact on the way in which countries respond to these external pressures. Three of the major powers are facing uh, leadership changes or elections in 2012. China, Russia, and the United States. China continues to face the fallout from the global economic crisis. One of the things that that highlighted was not in fact the strength of the Chinese economy, but the weakness of their system. In China, the economic realities are starting to catch up to the gilded dream. The, the Chinese have had to replace uh, much of their export-based uh, economy with government-run infrastructure development and investment. And this is causing a massive expenditures. It's also highlighted the difficulty of the Chinese to make the transition from an economy based on exports to an economy based on domestic consumption. The anticipated leadership change, which begins in 2012, however, leaves the Chinese uh, acting extremely cautious this year. They're unwilling to make any strong uh, changes or adjustments to try any major experimentation. Their whole goal is to maintain stability. The more conservative and cautious the approach, the less likely China is to address the fundamentals uh, that underlie their economic weaknesses. In Russia, the internal preparation for uh, elections may have less meaning uh, in that Vladimir Putin is firmly in charge. Certainly there is going to be some competition amongst the various uh, elite, uh, particularly over access to the investment drive and to the modernization, but it seems that things are held together internally. Over the past few years, Russia's behavior has been more confrontational with Europe and with the United States as it re-solidified its role in its near abroad in the former Soviet Union. The Russians feel more secure in that role for the most part, and their behavior this year is likely to be uh, more cooperative. The exception to this is going to be in the Baltics. In this area, the Russians have the least ability to uh, re-solidify their influence over these countries, and Russian interaction in the Baltics is going to raise concerns with Germany, it's going to raise concerns with Poland, maybe even Sweden. In this area, we're going to see the most activity. The United States still sits at the center of the global system, and the United States for the past decade has been tied down in Iraq, in Afghanistan, really in its focus on the Middle East. This has given the United States less freedom to engage in its strategic interests elsewhere. The United States is slated to remove combat troops from Iraq in 2011, but doing so would open up Iraq to political domination by its neighbor Iran, which in turn would be the establishment of a single dominant power in the Persian Gulf region. This is something that, from a geopolitical point of view, the United States really cannot accept. However, if the United States chooses not to draw down or not to completely withdraw its troops, Iran has a lever of its own. Iran can instigate uh, greater guerrilla activity in Iraq, and just as the United States is nearing the presidential campaign, uh, U.S. casualties in Iraq will be increasing. From a political point of view, this is untenable. Given a choice, the United States is ultimately going to choose the geopolitical over the political, and we don't expect to see the U.S. fully withdraw combat troops uh, from Iraq within this year. If the U.S. ultimately intends to get out of Iraq and free itself up to be able to deal with rising uh, strategic issues elsewhere in the world, that means that it's going to need to engage Iran, and we would expect to see this year, even if behind the scenes, that engagement increase.